Hi and welcome to my 4mailhosting.com video. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a real simple uh, reservation form. They seem to be uh, forms that a lot of people need and this one I'm going to do a real simple uh, maybe you're running a, a bed and breakfast and, and you just need people to reserve rooms so this is just to show you how you can do one. Um, so what you want to do first is uh, head over to formail.hosting.com if you haven't done so already and you can set yourself up a free account. And as soon as you do that, you're going to see this first screen here. It's going to want you to start building your first web form right away and that's the screen we're in right now. So uh, the very first thing you should do is uh, give your form a name. I called this one uh, Bed and Breakfast Reservation Form. And then you're going to want to put where you want the results emailed to. I'm just going to have them emailed right to myself. And just for the demo, I'm going to leave it with formailhosting.com. But with your own website, you'd probably want to build just a quick thank you page. It just says, hey, we received your reservation. Uh, we'll get back to you uh, as soon as possible. Uh, what do you want the text on the button to say? I like to have the button say what you're going to do. So in this case, I would just uh, maybe type in reserve now, or you, you can be really creative with that. And then um, what do we want to do with the form? Uh, you can either have us host the form, or you can put it on your own website. I'd recommend putting it on your own website because you can customize it a little bit better and uh, I'll show you that uh, as we move forward. So that's kind of how you want to set it up to get going and you'll hit continue to step two and we'll do that right now. Okay, so what you're going to see here by default is going to give you a name, email, and a message. Well, we don't really want to send a message with this form so I'm just going to click this uh, red uh, X here and get rid of that field and ask me if I want to get rid of it which I do and so now I have name and email I'm gonna add another field here and I'm gonna call this one phone so we'll do that we'll make them um, give us their phone number in case we need to call them we'll make that 15 characters wide I don't think a phone number needs to be as wide as an email address that's why I'm making it smaller uh, okay and then we'll add another one and let's make this the check-in date and I'll show you a cool trick here so for check-in dates you can do check-in and then if you just tell the people what you're expecting them to type in month date why 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 nine times out of ten they'll do it uh, to, to do the coding to actually check this is it would be a lot of work and um, if you just uh, preempt them you know, tell them what to do here. Uh, they'll put that in, and then uh, you don't have to write all the code to do that because it, it can be a lot of work if you're to write that in JavaScript or something. So uh, we'll make the checkout date. That would be the next one. Same thing. Whoops. Month. Date. Year. We want that a text field, and I'm making these 12 just just so they're a little bit shorter. It kind of indicates it. We only want them to type in so much text. And all of these are required. You know, if I didn't want them to have to put a phone, maybe I don't have to make that required. Uh, let's keep going with this. I'm going to add another field. And what else could we ask? Um, maybe what uh, what room type they wanted. Maybe we got different kinds of rooms in our um, bed and breakfast. So for that, I would probably want to give them a choice of different things. And I can do something called a drop-down list. This is a drop-down list right here. You see how I got a bunch of choices and I can only pick one thing? So I'm going to do a drop-down list choice by picking that. And then what it wants me to do is just type in my choices right here. So maybe we have a single room, a double, maybe we got a queen, a king, maybe we got a honeymoon suite. So we just type those in however we want them to show up in the list and that's how they're going to show up. And maybe we'll have one more thing. We'll see if they have a smoking preference. Even that's uh, starting to come out of date now. Uh, so we'll make that one a radio button. So they have to pick one of the two. Um, you know, we'll have non-smoking. And then we'll have smoking, and they can pick one or the other. All right, so that's our form. We got all our form fields here, and I hit continue to step three. 
Okay, now it's going to ask if I want to send a uh, thank you message, and I'm saying that I do. I want it to come from me, and I want the subject to say, your reservation's been received, and thanks for contacting us. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. So what this is, is when someone fills out the form on my website, and they hit reserve the room they're gonna get an email back right away from uh, from me knowing that they fill out the form and that I received it of course I'm also gonna get an email of everything they typed in the form and then I can check my schedule book and get back with them and um, confirm the the booking and everything like that so you could send a test email to yourself if you want we're not gonna do that um, I'm gonna hit finish here and it generated out all my HTML code here so I'm gonna select it all and then I'm gonna choose copy and I like to work in uh, Macromedia Dreamweaver so I'm gonna open up Dreamweaver and I built a quick little form here uh, for them to reserve a room and all I gotta do is go into code and this is where I wanted to put my form so all I gotta do now is just paste it right in just like that and you can see it probably pasted in, I don't know, 40 or 50 lines of HTML code to build this form. But when I go on design, there's my form right here. I like to break forms up. If you got more than three or four fields, I'll usually break it up into maybe groups of two or three. So we'll have them enter their name, uh, email, phone number up here, uh, check in, check out date, um, room type, smoking, non smoking and then um, reserve with this uh, website style when you do buttons you got to uh, you got to pick a submit class that makes the button look right so I want to show you how this form is going to look and I don't want to screw it up so I will select where to go submit okay very good uh, we'll save that and then let's preview it and we could see our uh, our form here so we'll preview it in Internet Explorer and it's it'll give you some uh, JavaScript warnings usually when you go to preview forms. So I'm going to say allow block content, and it's just giving me more complaints. But what's nice here is I've got a I've got a full working form right now. Even though I haven't published it to my website yet, I could still I could still enter it and play around with it. Um, I'll just put uh, some information in here. phone number, check-in date. All right. Now I didn't you see I didn't pick uh, room type and smoking breakfast. I'm going to try to reserve the room. And what happens is is it's telling me that I must complete the fields and hit the back button. So I do that. It takes me right back to my form. So this is real nice. You're not going to get missubmitted forms with missing information. So I'm gonna say, okay, I want I want the honeymoon suite, and I want non-smoking, and then I can reserve the room, and it's gonna send me on to the just this just the default for mail hosting thank you page, but if you had told it to redirect to a page on your site, it could show your pit your website here, and uh, with a thank you message there, so that to the visitor it never looks like they ever left your uh, website, and of course I'll get a. Uh, uh, an email that uh, this was sent with all the information in it and that's all you got to do to uh, make a reservation form uh, it's pretty easy of course if you have any questions you can always use the uh, contact us link on formalhosting.com and uh, I'll be happy to answer them for you